the Sudanian savanna belt spreading from Senegal to Nigeria. It is considered as the potential breadbasket of West Africa. The region depends particularly on rain-fed agriculture, nourishing two-thirds of the local population. At the same time, it is highly vulnerable in terms of climate change and variability. Temperature increases, weather extremes occur more often, precipitation averages change, and dry and wet seasons alter. In order to ensure security of food and ecosystem services in the short term, there is a strong need to adapt land use to the changing climatic conditions. This requires on-site good research infrastructure, continuous and reliable climate data and trained experts. In this context, WASCAL, the West African Science Service Centre on Climate Change and Adapted Land Use, was established in 2010. On the initiative of the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, 10 West African governments and Germany signed a cooperation agreement and WASCAL obtained the status of a regional international organization. Its goal, to strengthen the research capacity and infrastructure in West Africa. WASCAL has been created to fill gaps, a number of gaps on the field of climate change and adapted land use in West Africa. Most of the gaps, what we see is, for example, in terms of, uh, of um, human resources, yeah? in terms of scientists. How many scientists do we have in West Africa having the capacity to conduct climate change research, in fact? There were few. If you look at also in terms of infrastructure, science-based infrastructure on climate change, very little. And if you look at also a number of prov service provision capacity in terms of climate and environmental service provision to countries, to communities, to decision makers, it was so low. So Pascal has been organized around those to fill the, those gaps. Coordinated by ZEF, the Centre for Development Research of the University of Bonn, WASCAL has developed into one of Africa's leading organisations in the provision of climate services in and for West Africa. It is organised around three pillars – research, climate services and capacity building. The research programme and climate services pillars operate from WASCAL's competence centre in Burkina Faso. In the research program, scientists have developed tools and models in a number of research fields, including climate, hydrology, agriculture, biodiversity and socio-ecological systems. In the face of climate change, they explore the resilience of land use systems, security of key ecosystem services such as food production, provision of clean water or soil productivity, and as a result, can secure and improve human livelihoods. The research program is organized in six research clusters. These interdisciplinary research clusters interact closely with the Climate Services Department of WASCAL. Here, the outcomes of the research programs are bundled, processed and transferred as science-based advice to policymakers and other stakeholders in West Africa. A fundamental challenge faced by African scientists is a lack of data. So in order to build up climate services for West Africa, WASCAL has put enormous effort into setting up a comprehensive database for the region. In addition, a high-tech observation infrastructure has been established to collect meteorological data. And a multitude of scientific articles have been published to disseminate research findings. Thus, WASCAL has flourished to become a platform where national and international partners find optimal conditions for cooperation and development of new projects. Through the well-established network of the 10 cooperating West African countries, WASCAL offers excellent opportunities for academic capacity building and training. 
in particular through its 10 graduate schools. They educate the next generation of African scientists and policymakers. Coordinated by WASCAL's Graduate Studies Department, each of the doctoral and master's programs focuses on a different research topic. Students from all partner countries are enrolled in each graduate school, where they receive high-quality training. Moreover, WASCAL's regional and international network offers its students excellent opportunities to study abroad. We are also working to expand this experience to other countries. We are initiating right now two other uh, doctoral research programs in, in, in two countries uh, of West Africa. And while waiting for the two other, three other countries to make it 15 countries. West Africa remains one of the world's most vulnerable areas in the face of climate change. With its academic capacity, scientific knowledge and research infrastructure, WASCAL provides powerful instruments for West Africa's fight against the impact of climate change and variability.